may think LARPing is for geeks, but the opposite is actually true. Today we talk to a fanatic LARPer, Klaus. Klaus, why is LARPing so much fun? When people ask me why I LARP, the answer is quite simple. It's the same as why I read a book or watch a movie. It's to step into another world for a little time. Maybe to learn something about myself or the world, or maybe just to have fun. When a LARP works, it's like being part of a movie, and that's kind of cool. Cool, and, and how did you get involved in LARPing? I started with tabletop role-playing, think Dungeons and Dragons and that sort of thing, uh, in the late 80s. And at some point, my gaming group, one of the people came and said, uh, Klaus, do you want to go to this event with us? We dress up in costume and pretend to be our characters. And I thought that sounded kind of weird, so of course I went. And I never looked back. And, and, and can you go LARPing by yourself, or do you really need people to organize it with? You can go LARPing by yourself, but it might be a little bit weird. Of course, I could go into the street and pretend to be a Taiwanese businessman uh, traveling home <laughs> to my wife, but it might be a little bit strange. You can LARP alone, but it's weird. Yeah, I think that's called a bit something else in LARPing. Exactly. <laughs> So, what, what was your ultimate LARP till, until now? I mean, you've been LARPing since the 80s, so I bet you've had a lot of LARPs. I've tried a lot of different stuff. I think, and this may sound weird, that one of my best LARP experiences was playing something called Capo in 2011. It was basically a surreal prison camp inspired by the Jewish prison camps of the Second World War. And even though it was not fun in the traditional sense, it was very rewarding and very, very interesting and gave some new insights into how the world works. So and it's not all, sorry, no, it's, it's not all Lord of the Rings fantasy, it's also like kind of like real historical um, scenes that you play? Basically, a LARP can be about anything, just like a book or a movie can. Uh, sometimes we're hindered by production values, of course, it's hard to do something in a spaceship unless you can make it look just a little bit like a spaceship. But basically, you can do a LARP about anything. Thank you so much, Klaus, for this inspiring story about LARPing. For more information, go to interconnection.com.